Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to install the latest version of Mark 4 using this WHBO4B-6 6 for 6 axle. So they are also work for WHBO4B-4 4 for 4, 4 axle. What I have right now is 6 axle, okay? Wireless USB. Um, now install the copy this and copy copy this link and install the latest version. Scroll down to um, Mark Four Hoppy, and you see all all right here is the latest uh, date, all the date here. In a year, I'm um, looking for the latest date, year, whatever. So, right, what right now is this one, April's 12, 2002. Um, put your mouse on this sections, and it would pop. It will pop up that on the bottom saying versions four two zero four eight three nine okay select click on these click on this link and install it okay uh, I already installed it so I'm gonna uh, open it already download so it's now just reinstall it right again just to show you guy select whatever your type of machines what you have what's your future gonna the machines gonna or whatever you want install it Let me turn on my machines first. I'm still working on these. Okay. Finish. Cancel that out. Now go to your your um, Mark 4 folder. I'm assuming that you already know how to get to your Mark 4 folder. In the file uh, program here. And now in the Mark 4 folder. You see the latest version already half. Wait, where is it at? Already have these built in, you see. So once you install the latest version, this too will come along with it. You don't have to do anything for it. You don't have to download and then put it to this folder. It's ready in that folder, so no need to do all that stuff. And that confirm, verify. Now you verify your USB, okay? Driver, okay? Driver, you don't also don't need to do anything. So go to uh, right click to my go here management device humans interface you see my I haven't plugged it in this wireless USB and I already have and 
I already have four US, USB input device. So what? So once I plug this wireless in, I will end up have five of them. Okay. So so you could um, your it depend whatever your machine, if your computer have already have four USB that ready to plug in or three USB player plug in. This will show three or four whatever depend on what you have. Right now I have, I have four. Um, and I haven't plugged this in yet. So once I plug this in, it will pop up um, five of them, five of the USB input device. Okay. Now I'm gonna plug it in, and that thing will showing. You see, you see, it's five now. So I'm gonna unplug it. And go back to four. Okay, I'll plug it back in. It's five. So that what it is. You don't have to do all the update like the over um, old older um, MPG pendants. This this type of um, um, remote you. You don't have to do those um, update or driver or anything. Just plug that USB in and it, it pop up one of your USB input device and you're good to go. Okay, close that thing out. Now open your Mark 4. Turn on your machine, open Mark 4. Enable the plug. Tire holding the phone. Go to uh, config. Go to control. You see the section MPG. None of this enabled yet. Okay, close that out. Go to plug. Now go to control again. MPG, you see nothing enable. And then go to plug. Enable that. It XHC MPG. You see the version right here. That's that's the version of your um your mark 4 also mark 4 version also so just enable click okay apply okay close that I will show you my version of my mark 4 here So you enable that plug, close your Mark IV software, <coughs> reload your um, Mark IV software back in. Back to config, control, plug. So now it's turned red and have a check mark on it. Make sure it's XFC MPG. Okay. Uh, go to uh, MPG.
some fake plug. This way you have to select, okay? Go to config, plug in, under plug sections, this, select this. Okay, make sure you have, uh, make sure you have MPG1 and select these. Machine enable that. You see every, I select you see right here I select point zero zero one I have um I using inches so every time I move the scroll it one thousand and see the number It's kind of hard showing you guys one hand holding the camera. You see. Okay, now I'm gonna go ten thousand. It moved ten thousand. You see. See. And now I'm gonna do a hundred thousand. Hold on. I'll put this thing down. I'm going to hundred thousand. And it moved a hundred thousand. See, hundred thousand. Okay, I don't want to do an inch, an inch kind of too much. Huh. Yeah, why not? I'm gonna do an inch. One turn is one. Um, one tick of the scroll, it's 1,000. Hey, E? You but see? Finished, I still don't like it. You see? It's much. Coming up a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to show you this thing moving. I'm selecting. 1,000 right now. You see that? I'm stacking the knob 1,000. So it's move only 1,000. Okay. I'm going to do 2,000. I'm going to do 10,000. It's... Moving. Okay. I scroll kind of fast. I do one tick, one tick, one tick, one tick, one tick. You see? It's, it's accurate though. You see the number on this radio, on this remote, and my axle is moving also. Okay, now I'm gonna do a, a hundred thousand. 
Okay, you see it's a hundred thousand. inch now you see I'm doing an inch now it's four thousand so I'll move in is one inch and four hundred thousand just one click you see that see. two and four hundred Go back. Uh, go back. I did two tick, two or three tick. Wow, see? I did just one tick now. One. Okay. So turn that off. Let's go continue. Turn to that to 1000. And press continue two percent continue I don't like to continue because it you see the number it's moving crazy I'd rather do step instead and see step it moving that much Ten now hundred 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 go back to one thousand. Okay. All right. You see. You see this right here? You don't have to change anything here. You see, even though I turned the knob, that thing don't even show anything. So, let me start spindle. Let me call out MBI. Okay. So early when you select the spindle start it doesn't work you have to get your mouse doing this okay. but when you press reset it will reset it will stop See? back here earlier you select these um, macro and enable these right make sure you select mpg1 somehow mpg0 doesn't work let's select mpg1 all this I haven't touched yet. You can do that. Okay. So 
earlier you you select the MPG one and machine enable. So you know mark macro ten and uh, machine a enable on these one. Right here. And machine enable. Okay. So one. So press that mark ten. Marco ten and and Marco ten and that thing will enable. You see, it, when you once you press that, it turns to enable. You see, now disable. Press that again right here. Okay, see. Press that, and let's say phi, phi plus and phi negative. You have, you see, it's color orange. You have to press F, F N, and hold the F N and select uh, phi plus or phi negative or whatever. You see all the orange right here? When you want to call out all the orange, you have to select FN and then hold the FN and select whatever you want in the orange. Okay? So hold the FN. FN, I'm going to do the fee. You see the fee will change. see I'm holding here and press that okay I'm gonna do spindle to call MDI first. Okay. Uh, spindle. Okay. One do I don't know how to set up this yet. To do 0, 25, 50, 70 yet. So I gotta look it up. If, if, let's see. My spindle running right now. So it's either on or off right now. So if you figure out how to do these. Please make it a video and show me. Wow. So, all the micro one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, nine. Because earlier you already did for ten to machine enable. All that my, all that um, micro stuff is under. Here, I haven't enabled that function yet. Okay, but make sure you enable these. And select MPG1. Thank you for watching, guys. Um, please comment if you have any questions. Um, Please um, click like or let me know if you got to make it work. Um, yeah. If you got to know how to do select these bar and set it to this remote, please make a video. I'm still trying to figure out that this spot right here. 
I think it's related to uh, Mark 4 of um, I don't know adding the scream or whatever try I still try to figure it out that okay please subscribe and like the video thank you bye